Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. A very warm welcome to Paisley Abbey on this, the third Sunday of Easter. Let us pray. God of life and love, your Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread. Open the eyes of our faith that we may see him in his redeeming work, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We're often too taken up with our cares and anxieties to recognize the Lord among us. Let us ask him to forgive us. Lord Jesus, you walk with us on the road of life. You speak to us the word of life. You share with us the banquet of life. Have mercy on us, Lord, and forgive us all our sins. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. On the first Easter day, two of the disciples were walking from Jerusalem to Emmaus. The risen Jesus joins them, but they do not recognize him. He walks with them and shares in their conversation about all that had happened, explaining to them how the events were foretold in what we now know as the Old Testament. When they arrive in Emmaus, the disciples invite the stranger to join them for a meal, and it is as he breaks bread with them, as he had done at the Last Supper, that they recognize that this companion on the road is indeed the risen Jesus. We read in Luke's Gospel, chapter 24, when Jesus was at table with them, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road? while he was opening the scriptures to us. Thanks be to you, O Christ, for this, your glorious gospel. Amen. In some ways, today's gospel is particularly hard for us this year as we endure lockdown in the face of COVID-19. On our permitted daily exercise outdoors, no companion is allowed to join us on the way and we cannot invite even family or friends to join us for a meal let alone an apparent stranger and yet we do believe that that same risen jesus who appeared in human form alongside those disciples on their journey to emmaus does still come alongside us in our journey through life. By drawing us into a relationship with him, he helps us make sense of events that puzzle and distress us. The Gospel reading reminds us that we see him most clearly when we partake of the sacrament of Holy Communion, when bread is broken as he broke it in Emmaus and in the upper room. At present, we cannot share in that banquet, but one day we will again. And what joy we will know, being his guests once more around his table. In the meantime, let us gain strength from the knowledge that he does walk alongside us, unseen, but truly present making known to us the loving purposes of God for us and for all people, 
despite the turmoil through which the journey of life is taking us at the moment. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Journey with your church, Lord, as she proclaims the good news of your love in these difficult times. May the church ever be a source of comfort and solace to all people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Journey with Elizabeth, our Queen, her ministers and counsellors, and all leaders throughout the world faced with making difficult decisions in the days ahead that will affect the lives of so many people throughout our world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Journey with all who continue to serve the community in the NHS, the emergency services, the care sector, and other key areas of our common life, that they may be strengthened in the knowledge of the support they have. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Journey in these perplexing times with us, our families, and our friends. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant eternal rest to all who have journeyed from this life to the next. May they know the joy of participation in the heavenly banquet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Risen Lord Jesus, walk by our side and help us to make known to others your abiding presence and love. And to you, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, be ascribed all glory and praise, now and forever. Amen. And let us say together the family prayer of the Church. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. 
God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you forever. Amen. We end today with a recording of the Abbey Choir singing an Easter hymn that has become a firm favourite in the Abbey. Jesus lives to a tune composed by our own director of music, George McPhee. <laughs>